What's up everybody, Buddy Buck here, and today I wanna to give a special shout out to my fellow real estate agents because I'm about to reveal one of my best kept secrets. I'm gonna be giving you a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a single property website that both you and your clients can be proud of. I'm gonna be able to do all this in three simple steps. Number one, buy a domain name from GoDaddy. Number two, setting up your Rela HQ account. And number three, how to customize your listing and then go ahead and share it with your audience. When you're done watching this video, you'll have a custom domain name that you can text, email, and post across all your social media platforms so you can say, bye bye to Zillow and Redfin links because you decided to start watching this channel and raise up your real estate tech game. Oh, and there's one very important reason why you should be doing this with all your listings, which I'll get to a little bit later in this video. And trust me, once you see it, you will understand why it's so important to the longevity of your own real estate career. Step one, buying a domain name from GoDaddy. Just do yourself a favor. I know there's other places that sell domain names. Just stick to GoDaddy, keep it simple. All right, here's a couple of quick tips on picking out the perfect domain name. Keep it short, keep it simple. Pick something that represents the home, either the property, the city, the neighborhood, maybe the style of the home. Please make it easy to spell. If you're on the phone or your client's on the phone and they're just literally verbalizing this website to someone, just make it easy for them to communicate that. All right, so let me show you a quick example of how this is gonna work. You're gonna jump over to godaddy.com. Right up in the top, you're just gonna type in whatever name that you're gonna search for. So we're gonna do your next custom listing com because this is what it's gonna be for you. And if it's taken, you just have to play around with this a little bit. But in this case, your domain is available. Click make it yours. It's gonna automatically pull up a box that says add it to the cart. GoDaddy is the king and queens of upselling. They're gonna maybe tick some boxes on the way to checkout. So just pay attention, read through it really quick. You don't need to upgrade. You don't need enhanced security. Just buy the custom domain so that we're gonna hit no thanks. And then we can go ahead and hit continue to cart and check out. Here's one of the things I was talking about. Don't need it check free go down no professional email that's good now you can see in the cart it's gonna default to two years side note if it takes you longer than a year to sell a home you're doing something wrong change this to one year over here on the right click ready to pay boom all right step two signing up for a Rela HQ account so up in the top we're gonna type in relahq.com and we're gonna go ahead and click on free trial all right, let me break down the pricing really quick. So you've got a couple different packages. So you've got the starter, the plus, the pro, and the broker. So for me, I'm usually doing between one and five listings a month. But look, if you're crushing it, you're doing six or more. So you're probably gonna need the pro or the broker. Those are anywhere from 25 active listings to the broker, which is completely unlimited. Now, the one thing you'll see, like for the starter, it says two listing agents or the plus five listing agents. That simply means that you can custom brand who is gonna show up at the bottom of your your single property website. So maybe you're doing a co-listing with a friend. You can both be recognized at the bottom of the page. Keep in mind, for the starter plus and pro plans, you can only have one login. So you have to have a shared login. Now, if you maybe have a boutique brokerage or you run a team and you wanna have these agents that you just kind of like give this to them as an added value for being with you, then you can do the broker plan. You could have up to 15 individual logins. Oh, quick tip, between published and unpublished, you are going to pay the monthly fee based on the listings that are published. So if you're done with the listing and you're not gonna put it on your website, site permanently. I just simply change it from published to not published and then it maybe will keep me out of that next tier for the price plan. Now let's cover some of my favorite features of Rela. And just a side note, I am not an affiliate with Rela. They do not pay me to make videos like this. I just think the company is super cool. First off and my favorite is you can choose up to 20 different templates. Some other really cool features of Rela is you can do unlimited photos. You can do videos both branded and unbranded. So depending on your local MLS rules and and then also 3D tours from any provider. And probably my favorite thing is the interactive floor plans and hotspots. And I'll show you a little clip of that in just a little bit. They also offer lead capture widgets like scheduling a tour. So you can convert visitors to the site to actual leads. And then also it can display upcoming open houses. And let me just give you a little quick side note on open houses. Don't be too cool to do an open house. There is big money in open houses. And I know a lot of fantastic, highly productive agents that sit open houses all the time. 
And lastly, one feature that really surprised me was the reports and analytics. So it's very simple. From the website, you can click reports. You can email these reports to your clients. It's again, for you to show the value back to your clients that you're providing more exposures that they would not have got anywhere else. And the coolest thing about all this is you can launch this custom website in just a few minutes. You're gonna type in the address, you're gonna upload some photos and videos, pick a domain name and go live. All right, so now let me show you the final product of one of the listings that I had closed just a few days ago. You can embed a video to kind of play on a loop in the background. It's very intuitive, you know, overview photos, floor plans, you can see all of those at the top. And remember, this is just one of 20 templates that I decided to choose. You could pick a different vibe, you could pick a different template. So if you just scroll down, your clients or the prospective buyers, they don't need to click on anything. They can simply scroll down, get all the data, the marketing remarks. And then you can see here, you can even put hyperlinks in the marketing remarks. I put a link in here always if I do a seller procured home inspection and I have it linked to a jot form, a custom form that I created, which you can find a link in the description for a jot form video if you wanna create forms like this. From a philosophy standpoint, everything that I do, especially on this channel, I'm gonna teach you, spend the time up front on a project and let your life be easier and even on autopilot moving forward into the future. All right, and as we continue to scroll down here, you can just see, you can separate it you know, from exterior photos, first floor, second floor, you can organize those however you want, drop your video in, the floor plans, you can see the little green dots. These are the hot spots. So this works on desktop and laptop. So when you put your mouse over the green dots, you can literally tell the viewer, hey, this is the view from this dot. And then just wrapping up the bottom, you got your amenities and you can add as many of those as you want. And then of course your custom branding and then a way to connect with you down at the bottom. And of course, a map to the property. There you go. All right, so let me show you how to create your first ever custom single property website. Up at the top right hand corner, you're gonna go ahead and click on add a property. You're simply gonna type in the address and we're gonna go ahead and hit add property. So here we are. The first thing we're gonna do is the property description. So you can now click on generate description. All right, we just did a video this week on artificial intelligence, so you can take a look at the link in the description below, but this is basically what's happening. So it's creating a listing description, a write-up for it. So what you can do is just go ahead and highlight this, copy, jump back over here, and we can simply paste that in. If we're scrolling down, you can type in amenities. If you need some like memory joggers, there's a bunch down here below that you can simply go, oh, heated floors, hardwood floors, ocean views, oh, that's cool. And then go back up here, listing status. So I'm always gonna drop down to custom listing status, and then I'm gonna do available now. That's just the language I like. You pick whatever you want. Then we go down here, single family, list price, we're gonna do a million fifty. Just again, verify bedrooms, bathrooms, make sure all of that is accurate based on your property that you're about to list. So if you scroll back down, and you can see where it says add open house dates. So I would do this from jump to, especially if you know the first you know, couple of open houses that you have scheduled. So go ahead and put those dates in and the start times. And again, you'll be able to see that. And more importantly, the prospective buyers that come onto this website, they're gonna be able to see your open house dates right on the homepage. And then we'll just go ahead down here at the bottom and simply hit save. So over here on the left-hand side where you see settings, go ahead and click on theme and contacts. And the one that I've defaulted to that I seem to come back to time and time again is Rubik V2. Again, just I just like the style. I like the, how it looks visually. And so if you want to go ahead and change the theme, and again, you could have all the marketing done, all the pricing done, all of the details done, and then just simply to switch these themes back and forth, and it takes like five seconds. Under listing agents, you can actually edit your contact if you had one existing or create your own. This is what's going to show up at the bottom of your custom website, and then we're going to go ahead and hit save. All right, so one of the last few things here here, I'm gonna show you how to add photos. So on the left-hand side, if you're under details, right below that, click on photo gallery. And when you do, you can either drag and drop pictures in here, or I just like to click add files. And now you can see as these photos are uploading, it'll say 100% when it's all done. And now we're good to go. Once you have the photos in here, you can go ahead and click save. So here, when we're looking at the interactive floor plans, Rila just made this even easier than before. So literally, you'll just be able to pull up your photos and you can drag and drop the photo onto the floor plan. So it's gonna give the potential buyer like, hey, if they put their mouse over that dot, if they hover over that green dot, then that's gonna be the view from that green dot. It does work on laptop and desktop and Surface tablets, but not iPads, iPhones, or mobile devices. If your clients are happy with the presentation that you're putting out to the world for exposure and they're seeing their property in the perfect light, that's only gonna reflect well on you. Click on docs and floor plans over here on the left-hand side 
under property info. Here's what's cool. You can literally upload, maybe it's a form 17. If you're in Washington state, that's the seller disclosure form. Maybe you have a PDF of like all the improvements that you made on the property or just something unique that you wanna put up here that maybe your local MLS won't allow you to do. You can do that right here. Again, check with your local MLS rules and all that good stuff with your brokerage. All right, last thing, be sure to add the address and the mapping. So click on address and map over here under property info. Be sure you have the correct address. And this is what will show up at the very bottom of your custom website. All right, so we're back on details over here on the left-hand side under property info. So we like the property name, we like the description, we got our amenities done. It's all tight, we're ready to rock. So we're gonna go ahead and hit save one more time just to be sure it's all good to go. And then we're gonna click on view property website. Here we go, we got the presentation, it pulled in certain photos. You can play around with the photo that's gonna show up first. Personal preference. I like to put a video in the background. So it's just playing on a continuous loop and you saw that in my earlier presentation of the listing that I just sold. All right guys, you did it, so that's it. So on the homepage, you're gonna click on manage properties. You're gonna see that new listing that you just created or multiple listings if you've been rocking with this for a little while now. There's just one thing left to do and that is to take the GoDaddy domain that you bought and connect it to your Rila custom single property website. So instead of me teaching you that, there is a video that Rila put out. I'm gonna put it in the very top link below in the description because it does a brilliant job of explaining it step by step. And one side note, it is a little bit nerdy. So just again, you can hit pause, just follow the instructions step by step. And now you'll have that link where you can copy it, you can paste it, you can email it, you can put it across all your social media platforms. And here's the most important thing of all. Remember before when I was talking about that very important thing that I would mention later in the video, Zillow and Redfin, they were designed to replace you. They were designed to replace the realtor. Stop having your clients send Redfin and Zillow links to their friends, their neighbors, their loved ones. And most of all, you shouldn't be putting these links on your own personal platforms. Like I see too many good realtors putting Zillow and Redfin links on their Facebook page, on their Instagram. Stop doing this because all you're doing is promoting Zillow and promoting Redfin. And guess what? The more you get your clients on Redfin and Zillow, those are agents that are being fed their data, fed their information. So again, creating these custom websites, it's not only gonna help your client's presentation, that they're gonna be proud of it, they're gonna look at you in a different way, in a different light, because you've raised up your tech game and you're giving them a beautiful presentation to put out to the public. And look, I taught this system to one realtor on our team and she got a really cool text back from her client and they were like super excited. So check out this text, it's really cool. And just remember, we have a Discord server that is dedicated to real estate tech tips. So if you're a real estate agent, you have questions, Questions, if you're a client, if you want to learn about technology, or if you're just a business owner that wants to improve your tech game, join our Discord server. We're there, we're building a community, we're building it together. And so guys, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Buddy Buck, peace.